Welcome to the Outhouse Super Show. You draw trouble like an outhouse draws flies. Outhouse. Oh, look, an indoor outhouse. Been an outhouse that didn't stink that bad. 40 yards to the outhouse. Both brothers be having them out. Hey, welcome to the Outhouse Super Show with Dwarf Among Midgets. I'm one of your hosts, McKibbles. I'm Maddie Man Edge. Messy Gravis. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds so <laughs> sexy when you say yeah. that. Yeah. Sure. And he forgot to mention, we are Dwarf Among Midgets. Or did you mention that? I no. did mention he it. He was okay. about to, but you cut him off. Did I? No, no, no. <laughs> No, I, don't know, we always I, I did say with Dwarf Among Midgets. Oh, I, didn't I, I remember you guys ingrained it. In We're me. at the point now where we have to have a, a, a we have to have a, a structure, a template. Don't say template. Don't say template. Template. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> it's all. It's all for my. That's benefit. all I heard in audio that, engineering school. Joke. I don't think good either. <laughs> that's true. That's all I heard in audio when I was in school in audio engineering was the word template. And I was like, if I hear that word one more time, I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> I remember we recorded. Hey, you want to go see Stone Template yeah. Pilots with me? Oh no, <laughs> the template Knight, of the dogs, Knights of the Temple <laughs> Template. <laughs> yeah, man, a lot of conspiracies around those guys. Like I never even heard that name before. That's freaking Knights of the Template. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's another sect. Would like, you say it's a template for conspiracies? Yeah, I would say so. Weren't that an Indiana Jones movie? The Templates? The Knights of no, the Templates? No, that was the Template of Doom. Oh, yes. That's what it was. Yeah. We named the dog Indiana. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm like, we got we got, we got to have structure now. And now we just, we're just going left. You need a template. Uh, we don't really have a template. We don't have a structure. We don't know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Well, we're made of bones and stuff. We have that kind of structure. But other than that. Molecules. Yeah. I mean, we're in a structure. Yeah, we a are. A building. That's true. Yeah. I, I wonder know. if it's structurally sound. Well, technically, you I think, got headphones well, technically, on. Think I can't it, hear a thing. You're always outside, though. Technically, you're never inside because you're making the building to outside, but you're technically outside well, inside your structure. You're confusing me. What I always wondered about that <laughs> you know word saying? is... You're never if, inside a building. If I'm inside, which side am I on when I'm in? That's what always well, confused me. You're not inside. Too. You're in middle, actually. Yeah, that's what if I'm thinking. If I was thinking. inside, I'd be inside yeah, the room. But I'm, like, I'm not up against the wall. I'm like in the middle, you know, <laughs> chilling by the fireplace, you know, looking straight here in the middle in a nice, comfy uh, Yeah, inside and then chair. outside would be on the other side of that side wall. Correct. Right? That's, I mean, in theory. But if you're outside. Yeah, break on through. <laughs> break on through. To the outside? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, that's why words are other confusing. <laughs> Gallagher has a bunch of bits that with words that... Man. Stick out in my mind every time we start doing that. You see what all the races he did at the end of his life? No, I've, I don't pay attention to him. I, yeah, well, I don't pay attention to he racism. Was, he very hard, hard right. No, I pay attention to Gallagher like his first couple stand ups. Well, you think about it. Why do you mean. think he smashed all that watermelon? Oh, that's true. <laughs> he was trying to. Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to put that in my head and string that into sentences. I'm not going to do that. You're like, look at all this racist shit. Now let me make a racist. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Was it? If I can one up him. But, yeah. <laughs> you think that's bad? He's trying to. Start Does he still doing people? stuff? He's dead. What are you talking about? He's then? Dead. Which one are you talking about? What Gallagher? Well, he or went on. He, he went on radio stations mm-hmm. and stuff, and he went to like. Uh, uh, MSNBC. He and stuff. started he getting all political puns. and yeah. stuff because he was old man. And he he really he was really racist against urban communities. Mm. Like he was really like not really like, urban communities. Yeah, like, yeah, urban outfielders. <laughs> yeah, Out, then, like, outfitters. Yeah. <laughs> urban outfielders. <laughs> yeah, he was protesting outside of urban outfitters. <laughs> outfielders. <laughs> urban outfielders. Like don't trust them, bro. It's a clothing. Did. They make you. They make baseball uniforms. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, urban outfielders. Well, they're trying to make gangs. <laughs> you know, to make them wear the same clothing, that's technically a gang, right? If you're he was the against same Jackie Robinson from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Gallagher, he signed a petition. See, I, Gallagher is immortal, right? So, any well, yeah, he just said he's dead. Yeah, but his brother, remember his brother? Yeah, his brother, he, he had got, a double. He sued each, he sued like him. the Prestige, the movie. If you've never seen that, I've never I seen it. It's oh. a bloody double. It's yeah. one I've not seen. You never seen Prestige? Wow, it's a good movie. Jesse turned me on to that one a few years yeah. back. That's a good movie. it's a good movie. It's because that's how I do my uh, what's his name, uh, that British guy in that movie. Oh, right. Um, Michael, I thought you were about to say Michael that's why Kane? I keep a bunch yeah, of dead Michael, people. I'm Michael Caine. I go, it's a bloody double. That's why I keep a bunch of dead Michael people in tanks Kane. in my Michael basement Kane. because of that movie. I'm I thought Michael that's what you were going to say. I don't know. I'm Robert Duvall. Hello. <laughs> I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> I'm Casey Kasem. This is 911 to my bandage. Like, so, whoa, Scoop. X103. <laughs> so I'm glad that uh, your, your voice is back this week. Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's a. Almost perfect. Yeah, I never was able to hit a high note, so I'm good. And I screened my ass off of Master Hunter last weekend. That was fun. Might be your last show at the Glock Box, so. Oh, that's sad. 
I'm glad it's not your last show in Master Hunter. I'm proud of you guys. I like to see you guys are doing all. Yeah, we got a show at North End stuff. North End Pub. You coming guys, up. you guys have people who are excited about it with you, and that makes me happy too. Now yeah. I want to start selling some just T-shirts, please. I don't need that fancy design, just a black shirt with says Master Hunter in that font that we've had for years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. It'll just be there. Black and It'll gray, be on shop at big old com. skateboarder shirts. Where would it be? Long. Shop at house dot com. Shop at house dot com. Dot com. Is that, shop Is that where you go to get all the best T-shirts that you can find anywhere? They're good for anything. You can do anything yeah, with that house shirt. You can wipe up jizz. Yep. Oil spills. <laughs> yeah. Jizz spills. Jizz spills. <laughs> That's kind of oil, right? Yeah. Jizz on your dog. Every time I check my oil, <laughs> <spills>. that I jizz. <laughs> you know, like you have like a poodle and you get jizz on it. Our shirt will get that out. <laughs> I just use peroxide. You, want, you don't want to rub it. You want to dap it first. <laughs> <laughs> Next commercial idea. Yeah. <laughs> you ever come on your dog? <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> uh, first we were eating them. Now we're fucking them. What are we doing with these poor animals? Uh, I don't well, know. It's our right. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's our property, what? right? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have an emancipation proclamation for the dogs. Yeah, for real, man. Yeah. Disclaimer, Outhouse Productions does not condone coming on animals. But what if it's an AI dog? How would you physically? If it's not real? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's you're going to have to debate that forever, man. Well, hold on. If Some people might feel like AI dogs are not right to come on. Other people might be like, well, that's why they were invented. You come in them. But if it's an AI dog, it would just be a picture, right? Exactly. So they would be like a come tribute. Exactly. Have you seen that? Have you seen that Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode where they clone a dog yes the hand banana yeah. episode yeah i don't think so you need to watch, watch that. my dad That's... totally owns a dealership <laughs> yeah, just, that was a pretty good episode <laughs> my dad which pat oswald he did the voice for that mm-hmm. yeah and he was in the new ghostbusters movie oh that was he? i just watched was he Last like the, was he the bad guy no wonder he wasn't scary. no he was a librarian Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. He wasn't the bad guy. Because okay. he was cool because he was like, he was upstairs and like he was that letting him know that he was like down with the supernatural until so they showed him something supernatural and he's like, his mood changed. He's like, all right, now let's go downstairs to the real library. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, here we go. I'm like, and then that same ghost from mm-hmm. the first movie. Yeah, she's in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dan Aykroyd walks by. The trailer. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd walks yeah, by it. Asking. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd walks by it, and he's like, "Oh my god!" And she scares him again. And he runs away. Yeah. <laughs> Same exact thing. Same as that ghost. Yeah. All, all the cards go flying everywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, coming out. It just did yeah. when the, she comes at him. But it was a decent movie. I mean, I liked it. Lilith didn't like it too much. She was kind of bored. So I loved it. Afterlife. Yeah, I was, I was. Afterlife was good. I was disappointed to yeah. hear that it's kind of that the new one's yeah. not as good. Afterlife was better. What's it called? Urban say. or what? Uh, no, Frozen Urban, Empire. Urban Outfielders. <laughs> Frozen Empire. That's what it is. <laughs> Urban Outfielders. Keith Urban Outfielders. <laughs> Keith Urban Outfielders. Huh. Keith Urban and the Outfielders. That's a good one. Like cowboy Angels hats. Angels and the stuff? Outfielders. Do they have like cowboy hats? <laughs> Urban, Urban Outfielders. Outfielders. <laughs> outfielders. I don't know. I don't really know what Urban Outfitters is. I just hear it. I've I think it's like an Abercrombie Finch store, I think. Kind of like that. Like old Abercrombie Navy. and Finch? Yeah. Like a bird. Snitch. Abercrombie yeah, and Snitch. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Birds are awesome to wear. All their feathers, just wear them like a, just smash birds on you, like Lady Gaga would or something, you know. Bjork the birds. This is my Bjork dress made out of dead birds. Remember that Bjork did that? She dressed up as a giant goose or had a goose around her neck. Well, that's kind of what she sounds like to me. Is what a bird looks like. <laughs> Somehow that makes sense. That does make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a big Bjork she, fan. She would sound like an Iceland bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She sounds like what a bird looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that make so much sense? Uh, screw Bajork. <laughs> Bajork. Bajork. No, it's got an umlaut. It's fine. It's uh, yeah, but right. even Bill Murray. Bill I don't Murray, English good. Bork. Bill Murray tried to save this movie, and you know, because well, like not he, English. you know, so many cameos. You know, like he even did. So the, that's what it is. It's a it's a callback. And it said the key master. It was the fire master. Nice. That's weird. Yeah, and the guy had to control fire. Like they just. He might trying sister? to take the dick like old trying like to take the dick reference out. It had me an idea because like the Patton Oswalt character kind of reminded me of like our Bernie character in the new mo- the dwarf movie. Yeah, where he kind of sets up the story of the evil breaking the dwarf wall two coming soon. Yeah. You mean yeah. a MacGuffin? Productions. He was a MacGuffin because basically you know because no, like, that's Doctor MacGuffin because we get <laughs> we, yeah we get to the point. And then we get to the doctor, and he explains why you know the clown lord. He's a MacGuffin. Yes, yeah, yeah. The MacGuffin. Well, that that's yeah. Doctor MacGuffin though. That's that's yeah. a different guy. Oh, is it? Bernie's okay. playing Bernie himself. Actually, yeah. he does explain the clown lore. Yeah. We're giving away too much about this movie, but you know. That's right. They're gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> Maybe well, one day. One day. <laughs> but no, it's like because it gave me an idea. It's like that's kind of cool. Like soon as he starts talking, go into animation. Of like the clowns and stuff, mm-hmm. like the weird, you know, yeah. anime, you know, just like I was like, oh, so that's rip, what I had planned. Let's rip off yeah. Ghostbusters. 
Yeah, I drew a bunch of concept out of stick figures. I still have them all. Nice. Mm-hmm. But I, don't know, I just couldn't buy into the evilness of the, you know, like Vigo from the second one scared the shit mm-hmm. out of me. Just yeah. his eyes were scary. The yeah. artist or whatever they were doing with that. Something about a, a painting coming to life. Yeah. Movie, anyway. You know? Yeah. This is some guy that was in the orb. You know, chuck him into a river. Like, yeah. what, what, <laughs> like what kind of orb? Just put him I on a Christmas this, tree. He'll be happy, man. Because like, because like Ray, Ray Stance, of course, he owns like a paranormal store mm-hmm. that you bring stuff in, and he sends him to the Ghostbusters paranormal facility, and they extract the ghost from the thing. You know, it's kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Like they have like a little extraction, like a, a prison, because mm-hmm. uh, they ran out of space in the original building. Of all the ghosts and shit, of course. Because you know? it was funny, They're like, girl, it was the '80s. We didn't think about the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, wait, you guys see this? Like, being a problem, like running out of ghosts. So, <laughs> yeah, like running so out of room. It was so. Their, yeah. So yeah. their containment facility blows up. Yes, and that releases all the ghosts. Sort of. Like no, the, like the dickless guy did in the in the first movie. He's in this movie. He's the mayor. Oh shit! Dickless is the mayor. What? Yeah, oh. they call him Dickless. Yeah, at the end, they do. They go, <laughs> it's true. This man has no yeah, dick. It was funny. He goes like, "Goes uh, what they say?" They go, "Give him the medal, Dickless." At the, end, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the movie, I go, "That was funny." At the end, <laughs> that's good. They got to make a reference to it. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the funniest lines. Because Bill Murray at the end is like, "Hey, how you doing?" Because they finally meet at the end. Yeah, and I don't then, even remember his real name, but yeah, Fitch. No. I think it's Fitch or something like he that. He always he's like because he's like Fitchy boy. A B movie actor always plays the, the dick. Yeah, that feels like. Yeah, he, yeah, Dickless. Yeah, yeah Dickless. <laughs> I can't think of him in any other movies though. I, but I know him from Ghostbusters. It was. I have seen him in other movies. I can't think of any though. But I know I have. So he's a Joey Pants. Yeah, he's that kind of guy. So like, there's a so on this this I, w- I listen to this podcast called the Rewatchables and they go about rewatchables. Yes, I've talked yes, about it all the time. Yes, I but they it. they give awards and they're like they have one called the Joey Pants Award and it's like the the be, the best known that guy from the whatever movie it is like oh that it's that guy nobody yeah, knows his name guy. but he's in a yeah. bunch of movies he's that guy he's that guy he gets named after it's Joey Pantolinomius yeah, or something Joey Pants yeah he's he's in a shitload of movies they gave him that name he's they in the gave Matrix. the award that name because he's in everything yeah Joe, he was in the Matrix mm-hmm. he's the guy that uh, why oh why didn't I take the blue pill <laughs> Is Joey him? Pants, yeah, it is him. Yeah, it's Joey yeah. Pants. He's in Sopranos. He's yeah. in all that shit. He's a Memento. That's yeah, my favorite yeah. One. He's a good actor. He's in Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Will Chief Smith. Police. Yeah, yeah. he's he that Chief? guy. Like it's true. They should the character. That guy. Like they should have that award named after him. Yeah, because yeah, he is. That does make sense. They do every, every movie. They're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, like Joey movies, Pants because they go around and they vote for you know who's the biggest Joey Pants guy. That is true. Who's that guy? Everybody knows he's dead too. Yeah, he's dead. That's yeah. why he's not been in rest a movie. In peace, rest in peace. Or he would be. Rest in peace, yeah, Joey he, would be Pants. he would be in our fucking movie. <laughs> he still can be. More likely now he's dead than before. Speaking of new movies, you see the Beetlejuice trailer? No, yes. I don't believe it. I don't. Is it the real trailer yes, the yet? the real trailer. There's so many effing it's freaking coming, people. It's coming in September. I'm too new yes. to Facebook, man. You can get me at first. And I'm like, wait, what? No. I know, dude, they've been getting me on Thundercats trailers for yeah. I don't know how long oh now. God. Like, you sons of bitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's coming, though. It's, it's it's actually called Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. yeah, 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 it's cool. But it looks pretty good. Don't yeah. say it the third well, time. One more time, man. You're don't, no, you're going, you're they're not, you can't make the third one. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, the real trailer's out. I'm going to go watch yeah, it. Yeah, Tim it's Burton a, put it out. It's so. a teaser. It's it's not much, yeah, it's, but it's it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's it's that chick that played Wednesday. Jenny Ortega. Yeah, which makes sense. She looks like she would be Lydia's. Daughter, daughter or something yeah you know? she looks more like a wednesday still but the red-headed mom comes back too you know yeah Claude, home yeah, alone. yeah. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so is her dad there too no just her i just saw her just you don't, no, see, you don't see that much you just, yeah you didn't see the dad places. diddle some kids or something yeah, yeah he's he did. dead yeah. and he's dead too oh, i think okay. yeah he oh, died. i thought he got canceled for something. well good yeah. he's dead well he did too he got canceled and then yeah. he died yeah he got canceled i don't know if he often i don't know if he was i think it was the seventh heaven guy that diddled kids and he just raped chicks yeah yeah i think yeah he has rape charges the guy from ferris bueller yeah, yeah, that's what it was. yeah, he yeah. was underage. So he's definitely not in it. He raped underage. They kids. should make a reference to it in the movie. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I can't remember exactly. They should what make was. a movie about that guy. All I know guy. is that he's bad guy now. He was another that guy. How, I don't know yeah. his name. Yeah, Howard the Duck. Yeah, he wait a was minute, a Dark yeah, Overlord. Howard the Duck. I remember hearing his name a bunch, but like he has, a, <laughs> it's a really basic, <laughs> he super, was, super normal name. That he like, wasn't in common. Stay Tuned, was he? Yes, he was. He was a devil. Well, he was a devil assistant. He was a devil's assistant. Yeah. yeah, I love that movie. That well, they never really reference the devil. Yeah. They just say the. We've you know, never. I don't think we've ever talked implied. about that. Movie. Yeah, we've not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one is a seriously awesome movie of mine. Because my favorite, yeah, stay tuned. My favorite was uh, he has the can of beer and he's like he drinks it, squashes it, throws it. And he goes, give me another, or give me another beer, babe. They're like machismo, <laughs> and, he sque- and he squeeze yeah. it. And it's, it's like a bunch of cheese <laughs> comes out of the can. No, see, like I remember, um, I like I like Dwayne's underworld. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, w- poker in the eye. Growing up, I remember. 
I must have seen that mm-hmm. because like for my entire adult life, I was like, what was that movie where it was like it's Wayne's World, but they were like zombies. Yeah. And then I, that little part. And I caught a clip of it on Reddit and I was like, there's that fucking movie. Oh, and so, I, so you, I looked yeah. it up and then I watched it. Like, when yeah, I, was, I own like, it. My I'll send it to you. It's my prime video. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's on streaming though. It's, it's, I think it's on Prime for. Free. I know by own it. I mean, Eugene Levy was in that movie. Yeah, yep. that was a, yeah. They do. There's wrestling in it. He's like yeah. the comic relief in the whole thing. Cartoons, like losing mm-hmm. limbs and shit. Like a Tom and Jerry. Remember they do like a Tom and Jerry yeah. kind of thing. You know. But my cat. My cats in there yelling. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, was that your cat? Do you hear it? Yeah, I heard yeah, it. It sounded like the kids playing down the street. That's Goomba. She's in there just like. <laughs> Damn. But no, did you see, also did you see a um, boisterous cat Kanye West with his new shoes? They're coming out. You get to pre-order I, them. I've never actually looked down at his no. feet before. Yeah, they're called. Yeah, they're called. Uh, <laughs> so his specific shoes. Oh, oh. no, not that, his shoes. No, no, oh. his, his brand of oh, shoes. Okay. I'm they're, sorry. They're Go like on. they're like fold out. They fold. There's like a. It's a thing. It's like a heel, and you fold it out, and it's like a sock and shoe. It's like two hundred fifty bucks, and they're called they're called Yeezy Pods. <laughs> I shit you that not. So stupid. I'm telling it you. Sounds like a parody. This is yeah. the dumbest shit yeah. I've ever heard and in I was my like, life. Tell me more. I've it was 250, it. and I go, mm, I might pre-order you wear it for drums. I'm gonna see if you can wear it. It is for kind drumming. of brilliant. Yeah, like, it's, it's weird that he's the first person to to put together socks and shoes together. Yeah. I mean that's just pretty but, smart. And, and, and socks get so and fucking fold dirty. Up. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So you gotta wash kind of those motherfuckers. I don't know. It's gonna be I'm still wearing socks with his Yeezy socks. Yeah. But it's taking forever to get ordered a pre order in there. It's like two weeks. Yeah. And then, then you have to wait for that, you know? I was like, Jesus. It turns out this is what happens, man. He's a freaking a mad scientist now, so like they suction onto your feet and then your feet start growing roots into the ground, right? And then yeah. you become like a a sheep to do his You've will. watched yeah. too many eighties sci fi movies. That's yeah, true. Cause like Sean <laughs> Sean D, Sean D has hope. a joke similar because I always want to do a joke that I, I can't do it now because Sean D has someone similar. Sean where, D is funny, go follow him. Yes, he's he funny. is hilarious. He no, goes, I mean his name is Sean D is funny on, on oh, social. Yeah. Sean D's right. nuts. But he goes <laughs> But he's uh, also funny, right? He goes yeah. Yeah. he goes he, he talks about R. Kelly and he goes, I don't like his music, I just like his views. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? Like I, go, I want to say the same thing about Kanye. I'm like not a fan of his music. I just love his political views. But I can't do it because you know Sean D. That's so it. much worse, though. <laughs> like, R. Kelly's right on the line. Yeah. Kanye is like, uh, I don't know. Al House Records does not condone anti-Semitism. Is it, is it wrong to have, like, a, like a fantastical sexual scenario play out where you pretend you're R. Kelly and your wife pretends to be a young girl? And you you're pee on her? That's fantasy. You can do whatever you want. Fantasy, bro. Yeah. It's not real pee, you know. As long as she knows the safe word. Well, my <laughs> safe word is banana, rana, fana, nana, banana. The trick is there is no she, So she yeah. starts saying it and you slap her so she can't finish it. She can't it. ever finish because she's going. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens, you know. So I, I usually always nut. That's <laughs> all right. This all plays out within a span of two and a half minutes. And then she, fin- <laughs> yeah, she, then she finishes it after she spits out yeah. your comb. So she can like, usually. Banana banana that's snap. why she recovers because I'm so quick at sex. <laughs> or disclaimer Al House Records or, or, or Productions does not condone sexual assault or, or of she, your spouse even marital or yeah, even no. marital sexual assault Al House Records does not condone I'll say or she wakes up where you left her Al House oh. Productions shit <laughs> Oh, I think it wasn't my daughter that come to me and said, I like my girls. Like I like my tea bags or like, oh, like I like my tea in bags underwater. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. I was like, that's Your daughter said that to you? I think it was her. That's funny. Could I heard, uh, I think it was, who was it that told me that? I think it was uh, Tracy at work at KFC. She made me laugh one time. She goes, I like my men how I like my coffee. Sliding off the roof of my car. <laughs> Tracy said that yeah, like years ago, and it just stuck in my head. And I like, I love that. I'm like, that's the funniest joke I've ever heard that's in my life. One. <laughs> Sliding off the roof of my car. <laughs> that's funny. I was going black, right? Black? No, no. no. <laughs> the art of deception. Yeah. Yes. Mis- misdirection. Mis- Mis- Is there a Mister Direction? Yeah, Mister Direction. direction. <laughs> yeah. Your direction. mama sure does care about your schooling, boy. <laughs> 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 we, we reference that way too yeah, often it's best one of the is there best a movies there, direction but, maybe I, direction but I like the movie This is the End where he hates that movie Force Gump yeah, yeah. And he's like he's like, it's a horrible piece of shit and like I took offense to that too I was like oh that hurt me yeah. like I love Forrest Gump hipsters. growing up yeah That's I was like oh movie. And, but you, I, I can still watch it, and I love it. You yeah, know? I can watch that. It's I, a great movie. Like, I'm sorry I ruined your Black Panther party. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like he invented the smiley face shirt and the uh, shit happens yeah. bumper sticker. I, I think mean, that's that kind of, that's kind of like my mind the most. Have you, you read know? the book? 
No, the book uh, is nothing like it. it I know. Sucks. So I heard. I heard the book I, is I have nothing the book, like it. I've not read it. So it shows you how good Robert Zemeckis is. Wow. Yeah. As a movie maker. Did he write the screenplay? Mm-hmm. I think so. They completely he reworked it. it. I knew yeah. that for a hundred. But The Frighteners. Yeah. That's one of my favorite uh, movies he's done. Love that movie. One. Mike. Michael J. Fox, right? Yep. That's yep. it. Yeah. Jake Busey. That's his, yeah. that's his no, fourth best movie. No, is it Jake Busey or is it another guy that looks like Jake Busey? Fourth no, best Jake movie. Okay. Okay. His fourth best movie. You know what I'm talking about? There's another guy that... Yeah. There's another the actor that teeth, looks like Jake Busey that I always confuse him, but I don't know. I think actually it was... It wasn't Jake Busey in Tomcats. We were talking about Tomcats before the podcast. You sure? I think it was the other guy, the guy no. that looks like Jake Busey. I want me to look it up. Yeah, Let me look crazy. it up. It's crazy. It might be. You've seen that movie, Gibbles? I have not seen Tomcats. Jake Busey. It's the fat kid from Lean On Me. Stand on me. Stand, 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 stand by me. Yo, stand by me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Jerry O'Connell was his name. Stand yeah. on me. Jerry oh O'Connell. Lean on me was the the principal, wasn't it? Yeah, the principal. When you're not so, strong, Mr. And Clark. I'll be your Mr. Clark. <laughs> Mr. Clark. You smoke crack, boy. You smoke crack. <laughs> Tom Cats is an underrated comedy. Yeah, I was like, it's a good movie. It's like he has to soil, or he's trying to find the right woman, or something like. This. It's been a minute. I can't remember the like. He was trying to get married, and he tried to. No, they have a bet. It's yeah, like, so uh, he's a tomcat, so it'd be like a so, cougar. So right? what it is is, so it's a it's a group of friends, and they all they all make a bet, and they throw in a bunch of money. Each of them throw in a money into a pot, and they say the last person to get married gets That's this yeah. like million dollars. Yeah, yeah. So like basically, like it comes down to these last two guys, and like it's been a while since I've seen the it girl too. from ha- American Beauty or American Pie. Yeah, Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon. Mm-hmm. So they yeah, but they, he ends up like falling for this chick at, at one of his friend's wedding or yeah, something. she's the maid. But then he's the... like resisting it or something. I, yeah. can't, I can't remember exactly, but it's a funny movie. Yeah. But there's one part where he gets his, his testicle removed, you know, for like cancer. And he's like, I need my ball, man. Go get me my ball. they won't let him have it. As They won't know. let him have it, you know, and so his friend... ran into this problem recently. Yeah, you know? yeah. So he yeah. sends his friend to like the, 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 the lab <laughs> to mm, steal yeah. the ball. And then he ends up like chasing it down a hallway and it's ridiculous and it falls into like this doctor's salad and he, he eats it and like... It's like man, you just the same me. doctor that he stri- that was his doctor... Yeah, that took out the eats, nut. He eats the testicle. Yeah, I go. That's who you can you can't write, you can't write thing. But, <laughs> that's beautiful writing. Guys do that this day and age now. You know, it's okay. So it was Jake Busey in that. But yes. who's the other guy? You know, what I'm talking about. There's another oh, guy. Yeah, that looks like Jake Busey was not Jake Busey. That's like a real skinny. Hey, skinny another guy. skinny blonde guy that oh, looks like. I forgot him. to tell you guys. I was watching the, um, oh god damn, what's that movie? The not Three Ninjas. Fuck, I can't remember the name of that movie now. Shit, it's gonna blow Rocky? my Rocky? No. Tom it's, Tom? It's the it was the it's the karate kid or the the kid that was in the Ninja Turtles two. He was the pizza delivery guy. Yeah, he was Surf like, Ninjas. Yeah. Surf Ninjas. Yeah, well wasn't he like one of the Ninja Turtles yeah, in yeah. the costumes yeah, yeah, in the first was, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the second one too. He oh. choreographed all the fights and everything yeah. in it. But he Surf Ninjas. And there's a scene I I I, I had to rewind it because I laughed so hard. I never I didn't catch it until later. I was little, I didn't catch it. They're walking on the side of this mountain. Right, and they're like, and they go uh, on the beach. They get these binoculars, and they're like, they're bio or the, uh, uh, not uh, goddamn it, bodyguard. He's like the big guy with the one eye. Remember him with the big old shit? He was like mm-hmm. a big mean guy. And the surf ninja guy put his binoculars to his eye. You know, and he looked. You see people on the thing, and he gave it to the one-eyed guy, and they put it up, and they shot it, and it's only one side of the binocular. Like through the camera view, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Weird. Like the kid puts his up, he sees two of them. Yeah. Then he hands it to the one eye guy, and they put him oh, up. Okay, so and then the yeah, camera's funny. only one side. <laughs> the binocular. Okay. Like the POV from yeah, the binoculars. Yeah, the POV from yeah. the binoculars yeah. is only one side. And I just start dying laughing. I go, what? <laughs> and they just glaze right by that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like don't That's the best kind of comedy when it's yeah. just, when it's not like lingered on and it's not like they probably like, weren't trying to. He's like, well, he only has one eye, so he can't see both. Go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even trying it to makes be funny. Sense. Yeah, but it made me laugh. Like, ah, they're making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that His movie. Death perceptions years. off. Okay. Uh-huh. okay, who was the bad guy in um, Last Action Hero with the one eye? And yeah. was that the same guy that we were talking about a minute ago? Like you said, no, 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 no. from Ghostbusters. No, 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 no. That, 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 that guy they, kind of that's me. similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah Joey it's Pants. similar. No, 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 not Joey Pants. The the mayor or the guy Dickless. In that the last guy. action hero, yeah, Dickless. And was he in? No, it's, it's different guys, but they do yeah. look similar. Do they? I yeah. want to know who that was. Yeah, he's in. Uh, God, he's in a uh, couple other movies. My favorite scene in that movie, Last Action Hero, is when he went to the real world, you know, from movie world, uh-huh. and then he shoots a homeless guy, <laughs> yeah. and he goes, "I just shot him, man. Come and arrest me." And like, sh- and you go, "Shut up!" <laughs> and he's like, hey, "I like this place." <laughs> yeah, Jack Slater. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe you can uh, 
buy that movie in the uh, Dedicini Alfredo at shopouthouse.com. Yeah. You can buy that movie. You can Shop buy it if you want to own it. Yeah. Or you can just go watch it on YouTube. Um, for, for free. If, free. If you like it, buy it. Yeah, it's free on YouTube. But yeah, you can, yeah, get, but you you can, can buy it if you want. Or you can watch it for free on YouTube. I'm saying if you watch it for free, if you want to keep it, you'd like it that much, yeah. which you probably will. You gotta watch it over and over again to look at all the CG graphics and everything. <laughs> yes, lots of that. And try to catch where uh, Kibble's legs. Practical comes CG view. graphics. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me see here. Lucas Charles films. Charles Dance is the Charles guy Dance. Him. Okay. Come on and dance. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he, he does look different now that I've seen him now. Yeah, he's been in a bunch of movies. Yeah, I've seen him. In a he bunch did of look. Stuff. He had red hair though. Yeah, he did. When he, he was in that movie, so that's when why he was young too. That's yeah. probably what you're thinking of is like his the red hair and the red beard, mm-hmm. just like the dickless guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's cool. They do look similar. Yeah. Uh huh. There you go. Which I love that movie growing up. You know, tar usually sticks to normal people. <laughs> 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 say it. Say that thing. <laughs> Hey, I'll be or, back. Say, I'll or be no, back. no, my favorite is when he goes <laughs> when he goes to the video store and it's Sylvester yeah. Stallone as a Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was it's awesome. like, what? Yeah. He's a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good actor. Ah. <laughs> this, anybody it, that what, listens to this and have not seen any of these movies we're talking about, oh, yeah. they're, like, they're just like, what the or, hell are these guys talking about? Or he goes, about? what's the number here? He goes, five 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 zero one three. He goes, what's the number? Five five five. He goes, they're the same numbers. He goes, that's why we got area yeah. codes. <laughs> 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 but there's there there's a small there's a small group of people that listen that have seen all these movies and yes. like this is the best podcast ever yes, they're just yes, bullshitting movies. about all my quote favorite movies. movies yeah it's all I do but then everybody movies. else is like this is fucking stupid yes. all we do is quote movies we do have a segment coming up though we're gonna bring back cream of the crop oh yeah after the break we're gonna come back uh, and we're taking a break off a of quiz in our pants and we're gonna do cream of the crop which we're, we do top five of things and if you want to find out stick around right after this Has this ever happened to you? Are you a fucking dumb shit? <laughs> New t-shirts from all your favorite bands at shopouthouse.com. Cleans up 69% more spills than other band shirts. Now that's clean. <laughs> Annoying girlfriend? No problem. Shut up, bitch. Shopouthouse.com. <laughs> Friend's leg fall off? That's a cinch. Wordplay. Shopouthouse.com. Apply directly to the kneecap. Make sure you go to shopouthouse.com today and get yours. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Jesse? Like, oh, gross. <laughs> That's not the ASMR that people yeah. want to hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Let me take you down to Funky Down. Welcome back to the Hot House Super Show, <laughs> episode nine. We didn't Ooh, say that before, oh, but shit, yes, yeah, episode nine. nine. We are on nine this week. Number nine. We have made it nine Ooh. weeks almost in a row. Yeah. You gotta get your nose on the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Lars Ulrich. What? <laughs> There's a bunch of boxes behind me, so. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Time to segue. But no, I got in this YouTube wormhole, as I always do. And I don't know what it was. I got into this Metallica versus Nirvana beef on YouTube. You know, because you really didn't really know that because it was they were doing load and reload mm-hmm. at the time. <clears throat> and Gosh. James and James was on Lollapalooza that year. Metallica did Lollapalooza that year, and they also did some festivals and stuff like that. And they just trashed Nirvana. They trashed Alice in Chains too. Like James is all drunk. He's like, I saw that. And he's like, yeah, 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 hair <laughs> You know, like just making fun of him. I mean, did he do that though? At the end of what was that? What's that song? Oh, that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, the old lady from British. Was it? Yeah, the old lady know. did it because it was some famous actress in the United Kingdom. That was always so weird to me when he got to that song. Yeah. I was like, what? Well, the they were. I didn't like that version of Metallica because they were like trying to be like artists. 
Yeah. You know, they were trying to be like, oh, look they, at the, look at this abstract they, art. They probably got stuff. art school girlfriends or yeah. something. Yeah, well, no, Lars, he made millions of dollars selling art and shit. I'm sure like, he did. Yeah, he did. You know, he'd buy lot, art and sell it. There's and, a lot of people, when you're famous, there's a lot of people that follow you, and you can exploit them, no problem. Yeah, but <laughs> he told this joke, <laughs> Lars, he goes, who has four arms and four legs and works at McDonald's? And we're like, what? And he goes, the former bandmates of Nirvana. It's <laughs> <That's stupid. laughs> horrible. Yeah. And I was thinking about that because I was like, wow. Like, and then James said, what color is Kurt Cobain's eyes? Blue. One blue that way. One blue that way. And I was like, These Damn. are just funny jokes, I know. Though. They're throwing heat. And the only but thing, this is like right when he died. Like, yeah. He just died And the only in thing April. I could think is that joke about the squeegee. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was thinking about that and go, well, Dave Grohl, he didn't work at McDonald's. You know, because this is 94, you know, oh, yeah. and I was like, he became the Foo Fighters, you know, lead singer, guitarist. And I was debating with Kibbles earlier. I go, well, Foo Fighters, are they bigger in Nirvana now or yes. just as big? Bigger. Because selling and record better, wise. In my opinion. They, they, made, made a lot, they, they probably made more money. I yeah. mean, well, I don't well, know. They even made a movie, saying, man. Because Nirvana they've, still they've sells. Got, they, they've crossed but, over. But you go to England, you go to anywhere in the country, you'll see your Nirvana shirt. No man, anywhere you won't the, see Foo Fighter shirts like Dave that. Dave Grohl has transcended, man. It's like he's out there like cooking meat for homeless people or something. He's like the Keanu Reeves of the music industry. But the thing is, like, I don't know. That's that's really good. That's a good because question. It, it brings it back to it's always the debate of was Nirvana really would have they been that big if they were out like today? Yeah. Because you think about it, at that time, it changed everything. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have. We didn't have MTV telling us hey, this is what's big. You know what I mean? Like nowadays, it's hard for a band to transcend to that. When did, Would they really have been that big, or was Dave it because Grohl, it was because it was so contained? When did Dave Grohl join the Foo Fighters? Um, the Nirvana, sorry. He was the fifth drummer. He was like the fifth maybe. drummer. So yeah. did what records was he not on? He was on, not on Bleach. He, he wasn't was, on Bleach. He came yeah. in for Nirvana. No, yeah, never, never mind. Okay, he so was on all of them. What I feel yeah. like is Dave Grohl actually fed energy into it because they weren't really doing that until he came along. Well, Kurt, I feel Kurt, like well, Kurt wouldn't his, say that. Kurt would even say that. So he's saying that Dave was more talented than anybody. Well, in the yeah, band. I feel like that it was his energy, and mm -hmm. that was Nirvana, really. And you know what I mean. And Kurt just happened to be the reluctant lead singer, because I've seen old practices in Nirvana, dude. That dude just he's sitting there like mm -hmm. in a corner with his hair all over in his face with the microphone yeah, here, facing he's all the wall. Nervous. I like that way yeah. he's facing the wall. Yeah, it's I love like, that video. He's all he nervous and scared and reluctant. Yeah. He, well, he was just he never wanted to be. He never wanted to be that big. He yeah. just wanted to just get on stage and scream. You know? But yeah, he wanted he, was, it. he wanted it. He did. He wanted the fame, but, but he didn't want what came with it. Right. You know. He was a, he was a punk rocker at heart. Mm -hmm. Like like oh, yeah. everybody that says Nirvana's not punk rock, they don't know much about Nirvana. Like They're if you go back to the early stuff, no, yeah. they're not quite pop punk. They still that dirtiness. Bleach to them. was a punk fucking record. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love but Bleach. To finish my point, I feel Nevermind like, was a punk record. I feel like Foo Fighters was amazing Shh. because that first girl. record, he did everything on that record. He was, didn't he? He was... What, yeah. Bleach? He, no, 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 I'm no, talking no. about... Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl. Foo Fighters, yeah, he did oh, all Foo the Fighters, yeah. Yeah, did all yeah you know, all those songs, that, that was him. And it's just yeah. like, I feel like... <laughs> I don't know, man. It just started something and stirred something in me in that freaking record. Mm -hmm. And then he's just been going crazy since then. I mean, he's I, become a public figure. I think Foo Fighters is more successful, but here's the question. What if Foo Fighters put out, like, they're self-titled, and then they put out uh, Color in the Shape, mm -hmm. and then he killed himself? He wouldn't be as big. They, they wouldn't be. They, they wouldn't be as big as nowhere Nirvana. near as big. The reason nowhere Foo Fighters is as big as they are, I think, is because of their consistency mm -hmm. and the because hard they've work made it this of Dave Grohl. Because of Dave And Grohl's, I think that's Dave how Grohl's... Nirvana got so big was because of his hard work and. Well, Kurt Reed didn't work. Nah, Kurt had no work ethic. Really, that's what I'm talking about. That's why yeah. I think Dave Grohl. Was, Dave Grohl. I feel like he was the heart of Nirvana as well. That didn't make Nirvana big, you know, because if Kurt would have, you know, didn't kill himself, he would have broke up Nirvana, I think. Just look at the MTV Unplugged, I'll, man, I'll and how Dave, happy, like, Dave Grohl is in the background, like, and then how shitty Kurt Cobain that's is. That's what I'm saying. I, think, was I, I don't think Dave would have put up with it. Yeah. Kurt was a tortured artist. Yeah, I think I think Kurt wrote better songs oh, at, its, at its core. Mm -hmm. I think I think Dave Grohl has written some really great songs, but he's also written a lot of filler. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Nirvana, here's the thing. Bleach was a punk record from front to back, and it was great. Nevermind was a masterpiece. In yes. Utero was a masterpiece. Punk. Even fucking Incesticide, which was like B sides and stuff, mm -hmm. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think I think I think Kurt Cobain had the the talent of the tortured soul or whatever, and Dave Grohl brought in the structure and the drive. Yes, and I think that's why they. That's what I mean. That's pick. exactly what I meant. 
That's yeah. exactly. He's the, he, he he's brought the heart in, and the energy. He brought in the drive, you know, for and, sure. And Chris laid down the low end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and became he, a senator. Yeah. But me and Jesse <laughs> did establish something on the way here, for sure. One thing we can say 100% about Kurt Cobain is he was a liar. <laughs> he swore he didn't have a gun. Yeah. And, we believed, and we believed him. And we believed him. And we believed his ass. We we're like, no, he's cool. Guys. He's all right, guys. It's he's a metaphor. Swearing. He's a poet. And, and we're saying, like, oh, yeah. what other bigger... Woe is me. Some of it was pretty on the nose. <laughs> what bigger suicide is that, though? I was like, Kurt is probably the biggest suicide. Yeah. Because, like, kids were killing themselves after he So did. is that our cream of the crop top five suicides? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Next oh, week, God. next oh. week, top five suicides. Okay. Uh, Accidental uh, or not. <laughs> we, we could do a quick one now, you know. Kurt the, Cobain. Yeah. But top five self-erotic no, species. What, what, the what, thing what, is, half half of those on my list would it would be, we don't even know if it was suicide. They were exactly. actually killed by the government. Mur- yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, they could have been. They should have had tinfoil hats. <laughs> Murdered by the CIA. So what's his name well, in prison that didn't hang himself? That's not one of them. What? What's his name? You know, Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah, Epstein, yeah. I said <laughs> I Harvey Weinstein. Lots of them. Did Lots Harvey Weinstein kill him? Or no, he's still alive, ain't yeah, he? Yeah, like Chris, like Chris Cornell. He's starting to look like it's the Harvey, keeper, but he's still alive. Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. It's like Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington. They were killed by the CIA. Yeah. Killed by Hollywood. No, I think no, I think I Chester know. I think Chester killed himself, but I think I think Chris Cornell had some legit something yeah. was something was weird there. Yeah. But I think Chester did it because of, you know. But Chris again, Cornell. Chester's been mm. talking about the shit for 20 years. Yeah. Surprising as And, and we didn't believe him. Mm. We didn't believe him. And I love I like listening to Chester. I like listening to his he's tortured too. You can hear it. Like tortured. how tortured he is. Like nobody yeah. can scream like that. Yeah. And, <laughs> unless you are and, and it's tortured. real. Yeah. Well, unless all the really real. good singers are dead. I mean, Amy Bradley Winehouse. Hill from Sublime, which I, I, I'm not really into that kind of music and stuff, but I love that. That's what it so was. They're all dead, man. Dave Brock, he's dead. All my favorite singers are fucking dead. That's yeah. what it was. Look up, fucked hey, up. look up what year was Brome born. Oh, yeah. What year was that? Look up on your phone. Because, the kid, okay, remember, Rome, remember Kurt Cobain. He, tried to, he overdosed a month before he killed himself in Rome. In Rome, right? Oh. So we want to know if he <laughs> actually died. Rome? Yeah. Yeah. So really? we want to know if it yeah. was actually because of Rome, who was going to eventually go in and ruin Sublime. <laughs> he actually killed himself. In, he no, overdosed, he, he, in, he overdosed Rome, in Rome. In Italy. Yeah, Rome, Italy. That's crazy. A month, I didn't know be, that. a month before. That's why I think when he uh, shot himself later, a month later, that's why he injected himself with so much heroin because it didn't work to, a month ago. You know, because his tolerance and shit, he knows how much it's going to, you know, because he tried to kill himself then, tried to overdose. June 11th, 1988. Oh, 88. Damn. So he was like six years before. Yeah, damn. Six years. Because like, wouldn't that be weird? Because that's why Kurt killed himself because Rome was born. (laughs) Damn. Rome is younger than me. I'm so old. (laughs) You should be the singer of Sublime. So the hell yeah. (laughs) If they ever want to be on key again. Well, I guess they really weren't on live shows with Brad. So half the time. Oh, and another thing too. uh, I was reading the on audible we're not reading listening to a book about the west coast of you know funk g and you know nwa you know what warren g's original nickname was growing up kibbles no yeah for real warren g's original that's, nickname was kibbles i'm not original no more oh. when he was a little kid they were like dr dre was sick him like on you know on, on girls and stuff I'm like the go, original, get him, kibbles. Original, go get him kibbles like a little pit bull they call him kibbles you have to evolve into warren g now no <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we figured out we're two different kinds of kibbles. There's there's yeah, a, bull, a white kibbles, kibbles and a black bull. kibbles. He's like more of the pit bull with a big chain <laughs> kibbles, you know, and I'm more like... Schnauzer. Yeah, bits. I, I'm the little brown bits that yeah, are in there. The bits. You know what yeah, I you're mean? the bits, That's not the, the kibbles. Yeah, the I'm really... I'm more of the bits. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Kibbles to go regulator. <laughs> that's, that's a sitcom coming up. Warren G Kibbles. and Kibbles, like a buddy cop kind of thing. <laughs> I would watch that. Oh. Kibbles and bits. I mean, Kibbles and bits. <laughs> well, come yeah. on, Warren. What are we gonna do today? Get a juice, motherfucker. Well, in that, yeah, we're gonna we're hang regulate. with the boys. And the remake of Roadhouse, they gave him a backstory <laughs> on that. He was a UFC fighter. Who? What? Warren and, G. Uh, no. <laughs> Where did this come from? And the Wait. backstory of Warren G. Okay, the new he was Roadhouse. <laughs> Okay. Which he did a soundtrack on. Okay. No. <laughs> I've not seen the new Roadhouse. So the new Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal on yes. Amazon Prime. Go ahead. Yes. Conor McGregor looked like fucking Popeye the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I kept thinking. If you watch yeah. this movie. Like Robin Williams Popeye? I want, I'm want. i looking for that yes right no. now. But no, it's for like, the soundtrack but no, it's, reasons. It's Conor McGregor. He walks Love in that. and he's like this. Yeah. He can't. He reminds me of South Park. Like like uh, what's his name? The um, The gym teacher. The uh, what's they what they call him the the, the glasses. The guy with no the glasses. 
the South Park. Oh, Remember that's the, the principal, PC yeah, principal. Precy principal. Okay. Yeah, not the gym. Yeah, the Precy. He, he walks like Precy no, principal. No, I'm thinking of the. I was thinking of the carpenter teacher, the shop teacher. <laughs> but no, Conor McGregor cracks me up because he's just walking like this the whole time. PC principal. Yeah. He's like, where's this new bot tender you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're wrong, lad. <laughs> as long as it's cheesy, I watch oh, it. It's, it's it's cheesy, yeah, but like Jake Gyllenhaal acts his ass off. Yeah. I'm saying he's pretty good. You know, I'll give him. I'll give him that. He got in ridiculous shape for it. I know. But I always thought it was funny that uh, when Brokeback Mountain came out, he wasn't up for any awards for it. But he, you know, Heath Ledger was. Because they were saying it wasn't a stretch for Jake to no, no. I, I, I think yeah, I think Jake took one for the team on that one. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> for Heath Ledger? Ex- extra mile. <laughs> yeah. Heath Ledger, he, there's a reason why he played it so good, probably. That's what I'm saying. We can't ask him now. But if you don't get up for an award for that, they're like, yeah, that's what you act like normally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a joker. You never know. Gyllenhaal or Jake no? Gyllenhaal play the Joker? No, that'd be weird. That'd, that'd be, be better. Be, that would be better. No, I'm just kidding. No, no you Ledger killed it. It'd be know, funnier. You know, yeah. you know who I think would make the best Joker if he wasn't dead? Gilbert Gottfried. Oh god. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried. You know he would have made the best fucking Joker. Hey, Come here, imagine that in a dark alley. You hear that? <laughs> I'd be like. Yeah, that, that, that would be that, that the parrot from Aladdin, dude. Like the parrot from Aladdin, dude. So fucking kill me. That's the Affleck duck, man. <laughs> ben Affleck duck. Because I, ben I ben always thought duck. that. Ben I watched ben his Affleck. his Super Colossus podcast, you know, yeah. where he, with Jim Norton, and when he laughed, it reminded me of the Joker. And I was like, dude, that's a scary fucking. I could be hearing that in an alleyway, fucking. I would shit myself. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> yep. Rest in peace. All right, Affleck duck. So uh, we got this show to play, right? Oh, is it time for <laughs> the cream of the crop? Thanks, Macho. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Savage. One of these Thank days, you. I'm gonna forget to put the sound by right? It'll yeah, be it's funny. Like, was Paul's. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's cream of the crop. We're bringing it back. We haven't we've never done one of these in like a yeah. month. It's been like four episodes. Um, <laughs> this week we are doing top five console video games. Any console. Any console. Yeah. We did. We did exclude arcade Not games. Arcade, yeah. Um, it's all going to be console games, so anything mostly probably from our childhood, I imagine. Because I'm an older generation it, that we put you guys, case. You guys didn't put that on there, but put stipulation. So it's now just, I'm, I've expanded. It's just favorite. It's my favorite it's of just all time. It's our, our favorite video games. Yeah, you grew up on favorite mm-hmm. video games. And I have reasons for mine. I'm, I'm probably going to talk way too much for, during this, so I apologize. Well, somebody's got to. But I think, We're not talking about wrestling. Well, so. I think Kibbles is the champ, so he should go first. Oh, I'm yeah. not the champ. I think you have more points than I did. He's the champ of the quiz, quiz in our pants. He's one too. That's not how it works. We don't go yeah, by well, overalls. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I don't, want, I don't want to go first. <laughs> okay, well then, mine might suck the worst. All right, that's why I was the poorest. That's why I want you to go first. That's why I want you to get it over with. First, then. Okay, I'll go first. Let's yeah, do it. There you go. Oh. Okay, we'll, go first? we'll do. It. I, I've learned how to rock and scissor now. <laughs> He's been practicing at yeah. home. Oh, we're gonna rock paper scissors now. Yeah, right? Wait, wait, scissors paper rock. Yeah. One, two, three, then go. Right. Yeah. One. one, two. Oh, hold on. Hey, I, I caught up guys. after one. Same time, guys. Ready? One, one two, two, three, shoot. Oh, weird. So you? Oh, yeah. Weird. Weird. <laughs> no, hold on, hold no, on. Wait, I, I beat him. Yeah, 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 I beat him. So oh, okay, yeah. We, we did a circle. Okay. So we, 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 no, we all got to go again. Oh yeah, we all we killed each other. You beat yeah, him. That was a Mexican me. standoff, <laughs> and we lost. It's a all fucking right. Ouroboros. <laughs> Ouroboros loop. Ready? One, two, three, shoot! Yeah. Jesse wins. Okay. I go first go. again. Go first. Cream of the crop. <laughs> top five video <laughs> games of all time. Mm, so should I get my mentions out of the way first, or should I just start going? Yeah, just do, let's do, do honorable mentions, mentions first. first. Yeah, man. I think that, that makes more sense. Like an introduction to your Kay. top five. My mentions. I got a bunch of those. So Metal Gear Solid. The original? For PlayStation. Okay. Yes, the original. Nice. Wait. When, okay. the, yeah, the Snake Plissken. Okay, that was Metal Gear Solid 3, wasn't it? No, the original. Original. That was the first one I remember playing. Where he's like, Snake... Snake, snake, snake eater. Yeah, and then you have, no, just called no. this Metal Gear Solid for a PlayStation. I can't remember. And basically, you just hide. It's like a top view, and you hide from them. I'm thinking Metal Gear. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, Metal, Gear okay. Metal Gear snake Solid. Plissken, yes. Metal Gear Solid. PlayStation One. Metal Gear Solid. That's Plissken. why it's a mention. Yeah, because because every time you die, they come up on the intercom. He's like Snake. Yeah. Snake. Snake. <laughs> 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 I've heard it since like brain, burning my fucking brain forever. Uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, Rich, for Rich PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's you know. Cause I remember that's you know like playing like look at her you know square titties. Oh, that's, 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 look at that you know, oddly sh- ovalish butt that kind of turned square sometimes. Like nice polygons. I never thought I got turned on by pixels before. <laughs> it's like I, I think I like muscle girls now. <laughs> and uh, look at the way she and climbs. of course I excluded the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter because it's arcade. 
you know, because okay. I love Mortal Kombat. You can honorably mention those video games. That's fine. That's a console of sorts, but not what we were thinking for this. And one of my of the favorite game. mentions, Turtles in Time. Also but, based on our arcade Yes. Game. My yeah. buddy, we went to, I was in Arizona, and he had an emulator. And we beat that game in under 30 minutes. Nice. I was like, I've never, I've never done shit like that ever in my life. <sighs> I'm like, and there was a lot of weed. A lot of weed. <laughs> like, was it just weed, Jesse? Yeah. Uh, weed. Okay, good boy. Good I, don't, boy. I don't do meth. It's like, 20 yeah. minutes, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to do Adderall. Uh, I wasn't going meth, man. I, I do minus. pretty far. What happened to minus or all? Taking it too far? No. I, Brandon looks like he's on meth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. True. No, he's he, not kidding. He, well, he's not kidding. No, he's under the influence of meth. Yeah, there you not go. on meth. That means somebody else is on him on yes. meth, and they're sitting on him. Yes, he, he's gonna keep throwing shade at us every week. We got to throw it back. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Got gotcha. shade. All right, that's true. <laughs> okay, number five. I'm gonna start because that's my mentions. Okay. GTA San Andreas there you for go. the PlayStation Two. Yeah, yeah there you go. like yeah. me and Kenny mm. Musselman. Yeah, we used to like. Muscle, yeah, we used to like. Like I would skip school because like he just graduated, I think, and I was I think I was still in high school, and I would wake him up skipping school with the joint. I'm like, dude, this list some weights at San Andreas. <laughs> San Andreas was good because it, it took the like the, yeah. the formula of three yeah. and it added the weight it. stuff, yeah. added the food. And I didn't like the third one. And... I didn't like the third no, one. Three was three was yeah. revolutionary. Though. Yeah, I didn't like it though. I couldn't get into it. Liberty City, the first one, the three. GTA yeah. three. Yes, yeah. yeah. it was the first 3D one. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't like it. That much because it reminded me of Driver too much, I guess. Dude, I played the. I shit. love San Andreas. I played the shit out of GTA Three. Yeah, San all and, three of them though. Vice City, San Andreas. Yeah, all Vice of those. City. I played the shit out of. I love Vice City and San Andreas were my two favorite. Yeah. I didn't like the the first one. I just that. remember like so we had. Uh, I remember playing GTA the original on PC, the top oh, down, yeah, yeah. you know, and GTA Two, and then we had the, the UK one, and then when GTA Three came out, it was just revolutionary because Driver mm-hmm. was a thing at the time. Yeah, yeah. But GTA Three was like. Driver, but better. Yeah, you could step out of the car and you could go and yeah. just yeah, kill people yeah, off the whatever. The first ones were hard for me to yeah. to even play. I didn't like them. And then when they got popular, I was like, what? Oh, I didn't. And then any, I, I played it. And I was like, games. wow. I, I didn't did. put any PC games. Uh, I would say well, Duke the, Nukem. the original was still like like top view, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah Honorable so, mention: Duke Nukem, GTA PC. One and yeah, Two, Duke Nukem, or top down view. And Kid Nicky, remember okay. Kid Nicky? Does anyone remember Kid Nicky? I know. I remember. He's like a little. Uh, a little like Kid Icarus. No, he was like a little ninja kid in a pink um, uh, ninja thing. Leisure suit Larry. It was like a off-brand game, probably a black market game for Nintendo. <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of want it. Now. Number four, Golden Eye 007 for the yes. Nintendo 64. The classic, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's oh. that was my uh, cracks. I remember it was a. As a girl, I was talking to, and I remember I actually turned down hanging out with girls at that time because of that game. <laughs> like, it was the first time. He's like, hey, "Watch Jesse, your excuse you now." I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Watch your excuse now. Jesse. I like men. It's the daddy of it, it, that, that game is the daddy of modern first person shooters. Yeah, yeah. Like the granddaddy would be like Wolfenstein and Doom. Yes, Wolfenstein. I think that's the Duke game Nukem. I'm trying to find. Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem is my like, favorite. Is that the one yeah. where you're like a werewolf and you're like Wolfenstein? You're hunting no, zombies. Where's one where Nazis. you're like, I thought, I thought it was like Castlevania or something, but it wasn't. Yeah, they turn into werewolves. It was like, you, where you like, yeah, it's like Castlevania. Running, is it? Yeah, it's Castlevania. And you're like, you're running straight through. Yeah. And you, and you, and you can turn into werewolves and destroy more which people. Which Castlevania is it? Because yeah. it got too weird for me after that. Yeah, it's I Castlevania. Guess. I can't remember which one it was, is but yeah. Castlevania is a side scroller though. Yeah, yeah. No, this one was He's like. He's talking about first person. Yeah. You go down straight. You're straight, but you're still kind of like moving a lot. And like I don't Sonic, know. like Sonic, or no, it was better than Sonic. I didn't like Sonic, man. Sonic was like too easy. It's like a kid's game. It, oh, toddler can play. Mark it. it gets real. <laughs> <laughs> it, gets, <laughs> it got really hard. Slide though. that off of there. It, it, it did get hard. The levels but... with the water going up and down. Mm, I hate that. Yeah. 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 The sound. Is what it, it, I attribute it that game to play. That that game is why I have anxiety to this day. Probably. I need story. I need more story. And their stories came like in cartoon form later. And Howard Johnson commercials. Jim Carrey. You guys remember when Sonic was the had a Howard Johnson's like tie in, like the old hotels? No. 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 Man, I used to they no. had a, my grandpa Hojo's. Yeah, Hojo's. Ho-Jos. I know Hojo's. But... Yeah. It's like in the nineties. Okay. Number three. Final Fantasy Seven. Of course. For the PlayStation. I knew that original. was original. Yeah. Because like I, that's, all my friends was in the That day. was the game where I actually started uh reading reading about like how to game 
you know, game You wanted play, to learn the game good? Yeah, basically. I wanted to game good. Yeah. And I remember having Nintendo, like, thick, my, me and my buddy Francis, like, trading Nintendo Power Books, yeah. you know, like, just reading, just reading, like, oh, where do I find all this material? How do I get this, you know, blah, blah, blah. That was, for, like, that was the first time where I was, like, obsessed with the game. I miss those old days. Yeah, I know, right? I, I wish I had that back. There's a Nintendo Power right there. Yeah. That's the one with Mario 3 on it. Hell yeah. But I remember, like, even in school, like, I would just throw all my school books aside and just read that Nintendo Power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, the, remember the during Nintendo, school. Remember the Nintendo, Nintendo Hotline? Yeah. They oh, yeah. They call in yep. and, like, they would just, they would they would have all the books in front of them, like, ask them how to beat this level or whatever. Yeah. It's such a crazy time. Like, kids nowadays have no Hell idea. Oh, yeah. It's got the internet uh, now. Now it's just easy. Yeah, we had to trade. Back then, you had to pay $6 I, a minute <laughs> to talk to somebody about video games. What I know, <laughs> well, I didn't notice that, too, because back in when I was growing up, you had, we had to trade barter system. Yeah. That's how you get shit. Like, either porn Anything <laughs> like porn, wrestling tapes, Nintendo shit, anything. You now you can to, look all that up. Yeah, on your phone. now you don't need you by yourself. Just Google it now. Yeah. You know, like or you could steal one from your friend's dad's collection. Because it was, cause it, it was funny. I'll think it's him. It's cool. Because I'm, I'm playing the new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and there was a scene I couldn't get in somewhere, so I was like, Google it. I was yeah. like, see, back in the day, I couldn't do that. I would have to, you have to sit there and fucking figure it out, or go ask a friend who has something to read about. I Which, know. by the way. I loved your callback to that oh, yeah. during your set. <laughs> yes. At Cooper's every Thursday night, there is an open mic night. Coke, yes. Coke Press hosts it. And yes. yeah, Jesse went up to his five. Yep. But I love how you, you did it one time. You're like, yep. you're stone playing Final yep. Fantasy yep. VII, yep. Rebirth. And you yep. did the whole title. Yep. And then you brought it back another yep. couple minutes later. And I was like, that's a nice touch. Yeah, I do I like callbacks. Yeah. Because I do a couple of callbacks. Yeah. You know? Callbacks, yeah. It's and it's perfect. funny because I do the stand up and it's, I feel like a. Randall from Clerks 3 you know cause he's like yeah dude I can direct a movie I've watched movies my whole life right. and I'm like yeah I can do stand up I've watched stand up my whole fucking life like I know all the call I know how to you know yeah. how to set up premise and shit like that you just gotta get better doing it yeah, it's just the, like it's just the muscle memory delivery, yeah. and that's what drums yep. same fucking thing yep. I think if you tighten it and up that, I think you guys that's what I'm saying that, like yeah. I wanna get 15 minutes you know, I'm, so, I'm so nervous about doing one yeah. I have one, and I'm just like how am I gonna deliver I don't talk good <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Cooper's Pub, downtown Kokomo. Downtown. Yep. Open mic night. It's so, actually, they well, actually, by the time this comes out, actually, it'll be tonight, the 23rd, but that was last week. They had an actual showcase show, $10. They had some out, out of town comedians coming. Um, by the time this comes out, it'll be passed. But look out for the next one because it's probably like next month. Yes. But every Thursday, like I said, it's free. I'll Open be there. mic. There's like 10, 15 comedians. It's free. Get some food. It's delicious. I'm signing up again. Anyways, go on. Number two. It's 103 East Sycamore. No. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I think something like that. Something like that. All right. Google no, no, it. Cooper's no, Pub. Number two. Number three was Final Fantasy Seven. So yes. now I'm number two. Super Mario World. Super Nintendo, of course, one of the greatest games yeah. of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the game I skip school or skip school for that one too. <laughs> greatest platformer ever. Yeah, I still play and, that uh, game constantly. Like, and I remember I lived in the trailer park at Riley. Shout out Riley Trailer Park uh, when I was little, and uh, I remember when that game dropped. Like, even the older kids played it. Mm-hmm. Like, even the, like you know, like thirty year old men were <laughs> playing that game. And, you know, like you weren't cool unless you knew how to you know do some game. shit in Mario World. You know, like oh, you got the blue Yoshi. What's up? You got that blue Yoshi. And the number one, Resident Evil. Oh, shit. The first oh. one? The first one. Hell, yeah. That game yeah. is the first game that I shut off. <laughs> yeah. Where you're playing, you go, nope. Dude, you're like, scared. No, nope. it's, it's early in the game. I'm scared. No, nope. when you walk in the, when yeah. you walk down the hallway. Yeah, and he turns just, around no, like opening the it. doors. Yeah, I know it's just soon as open the door, and as soon as I hear something, I go, nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. yeah, because yeah. yeah, I was like nine, ten years old when yeah. that came out. Dude, it yeah, fucked me up. That was a scary game. Yeah. And I love the live action beginning. You know, Joseph. Yeah, he's all yelling at the helicopter. The helicopter just leaves him, man. He's like, I ain't coming back down there. There's a fucking zombie dog killing people down there yeah. I'm not going <laughs> no. and Wes and all the, yeah, I love that game and that was one of the games that kids would steal from you too oh yeah you had to be careful like you know Resident Evil gets yeah. snatched from you real quick yeah that was the first game that they quit stealing your dad's porn and yeah. <laughs> actually stole your video games instead but that so is you, my top five so you had a lot of PlayStation then yeah I was like PlayStation Mostly, Nintendo PlayStation yeah. Nintendo because oh. PlayStation I'm saying it changed my life in gaming yeah. like as soon as PlayStation started doing all the games and mm-hmm. And that's why I started reading more Nintendo Power. Or the Nintendo cream of your crop and... is pretty good. Mine's not going to be as good as yours. All right, Kibbles, do you want to rock, paper, scissors me to see who goes? Oh, yeah, sure. Ooh. Ooh. That's mm, you. Bam. You're, you're sandwich in the middle of us. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I like right. being the cream. Hey, the best part of a bologna sandwich is what? The bread. 
<laughs> the toast bread. Yeah, no, no, the, bread <laughs> the bread is the most important part because you don't the even mayonnaise. need bologna. You don't the need mayonnaise. bologna or cheese. You have two pieces of bread and you make a wish sandwich. And you could wish that there was, was anything bread, you bread. want in there and just eat the bread. And yeah, you use it. your imagination to eat. Like uh, Peter Pan and Hook. Yeah. If you believe, it's roast beef and pumpernickel. Or uh, Lars Ulrich where he said that bologna on hand. That's how they eat. Ooh, they yeah. slap you a five with bologna. Oh, no, that's, that's not a bologna right. on yeah. hand. Do you remember antiquing <laughs> when people would throw like a, a big ball of flour at your face while you slept? And slap you with that. It was like oh, a CKY yeah, thing. Yeah, I think. yeah, 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 yeah. Bam Margera started that yeah, shit. Was, yeah, people were doing that to me when I was young. I, I was very mad. I beat somebody up for that once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kibble, so what is your top five video games? Okay, number five Super Mario 3. There you go. Oh, the first there console. You go. I was like, I don't know, man. There's just so much to do, and it, it took so long to beat, and I could play it forever and, and ever. And you ever see that game, the movie, The Wizard, yeah, with Brett Savage? Fantastic, fantastic movie. Yeah, that's that movie. that's when they first released that game. Yeah. And his brother was with him in that, wasn't? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of like the Rain Man. It's, it's like, like a Rain Man story. Yeah. It's like it's a, like Rain Man. Little monsters. They're both yeah. in it together. Yeah, his little brother. Mm-hmm. But it's like Rain Man with Nintendo. Like that kid yeah. that had the power. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, so cool. Because I remember, like, I remember my dad taking me to that movie. Because of Super Mario Three, that was their like, debut. That was yeah. the yeah, the first time I, kids got to see. I just, I just loved it. I mean, the, the Pee Wee, everything that you could do in there. I mean, you could fly. You... And it was so much better than Mario Two. Oh, oh man, well Mario Two was supposed to be a different game. I do believe it was and a they Japanese. U- they used a template. No, it was, what it was, it was is, what it was is Mario it. Brothers Two, originally was released in Japan, and it was just like Mario One, but with harder levels. Yes, but. They tested they, it in the American like market, it, yeah. and Americans were not... They didn't like it because it was too hard. It was the same thing, too. Well, it was just too hard. Yeah, and they, they were, couldn't beat it. They didn't want something different. So what happened was they took a game called Doki Doki Panic, That's, which was yeah. a Japanese game, Doki Doki. and they just reskinned it as Mario. That's where all the yeah. new characters came from, the Shy Guys and all that stuff were originally Doki Doki the Panic flying games. princess. Yeah, so and, they and took that... The picking up stuff. <laughs> reskinned it. And the roofs but it was and easy, so Going people liked the doors. it. It was uh-huh. kind. I didn't know. I didn't like. The I don't know, one. man. I, I tend but to forget about that one you can, because I don't like radishes <laughs> or eggs. Yeah, or eggs. <laughs> but you can play. You can play the original Mario Two. It's called. It was released Lost, in the states as the Lost Levels. Lost Levels on yes. Super Mario All Stars for yes. Super Nintendo. And that's I've, good. I've played that. It's I've fun. That's levels. what the Mario Two was supposed to be, but yes. everybody said it was too hard because yeah. it has the wind mechanics yeah, and everything. Americans and are poison too dumb. mushrooms right. and all Americans that. Americans are too dumb. We're not good enough at video games. No, we not yet. We are now. It's like when Super Mario Wii came out. Like, that stuff amazed me. Like, the way things you could do with the, the controller. See, and... that game was too easy for me. Like, when they, the new Super Mario Brothers, yeah, yeah, I beat that in one sitting. Yeah, the graphics and stuff. Yeah, the know, graphics right. were cool. The, the, the mechanics uh-huh. were cool. But I literally beat it in one setting, and I did, never went back to it. Like, right. I just don't. Number four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, Mario, Mario, Mario 3, that's a good one. Okay, we're doing it of all time, right? Yeah. Oh, I want yeah. to have to put Red Dead Redemption here, number two, because like, I love Red Dead Redemption. I, like, I love like, the Western That's on my honorable thing, mention. And I could just, like, you can get lost in that. It's a masterpiece. You know what I mean? It yeah. really is. And I just, I don't think I've played a game. I think I, I was dating Alyssa at, the time, at that time because she yelled at me for camping. Yeah. <laughs> goes, all you do is camp in this video game. I'm like, yeah, yeah man. that's all you do. Yeah, I'm camping. I'm taking care it's of like, my horse. He literally just know? nutted at me and started camping in Red Dead Redemption right. 2. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then I, I played once, and I was real good to everyone. Shit, and then I played one where I just killed everyone. See, and here's the thing: I played that game. I put in hundreds of hours in that yes. game, yes. and I never beat it. Like no, I go on I there, beat it, no, beat I, I beat it once. I, I go it, in there. I well, it. there's an epilogue too at the end. After that, after there's an epilogue after you beat it. Well, I never finished the story because every time I got on there, so I just like an epilogue, yeah. I'm a cowboy simulator. I just want to be a cowboy. Yeah, I just a, I just live life as Arthur yeah, Morgan. Yeah, you know? I just like, want I just want to be a cowboy. Well, I, always, I had to get the uh, the Ride creatures, night, night, the legendary creatures. Yeah, so that was the first thing I did. I had to get all the legendary creatures. Yeah, you know, hunt all. So you're wearing all I like never legendary. Did, I didn't bear. get all my legendary, but I did get my yeah. I did get plus, my bear. Plus, the ending was spoiled for me. So like, yeah. I found out how it ended, and I was like, all right, well, I don't need to play it now. Yeah, yeah. So I still play it. <laughs> but I yeah. just I just play as a I just simulate a it cowboy. It's a good game. It's a great game. I like yeah. the okay. I like the scene where you can take the woman, the feminist, and then you can throw it to the alligators. <laughs> now, of course you do. For my number three, my number three is going to be kind of a, a weird one, but okay. it's like I never laughed so hard playing a Uh-oh. video game in my whole life. It's Tekken. fractured butthole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, oh, it like my favorite show. Yes. You know what I mean? But it was like yeah. it was like playing an it, episode of South Park, and it's kind of like chess. Yeah, I mean, because it was like RPG, but chess pieces. Yeah, I, I, know, I like that about it. I like that kind yeah, of game. Because certain too. weapons, certain mm-hmm. you know, they affect certain squares. Yeah, yeah. And you, you had different powers you know, and stuff. And you know, that was chess. Them, but was like chess the storyline of it is my whole thing with it. Like, <laughs> just the funniest fucking it's shit. So, it's so good. It's so depraved. It's, you know it, but I mean? here's the thing too. It's like really funny and it's really funnily written. But like, it's also a really good video game. Like, yeah. it's really it's good. The mechanics. 
mechanics and everything are just yeah. Don't I'm like, looking forward to they have a new one that might be out or coming out. The snow one, yeah. The, yeah. The snow day, the snow day. Not where you pee on snowballs and no, film a turkey not, not show. Not that, that was a good one. Yes, yeah, that was South Park for '64. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was the turkeys, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah turkeys. You peed on a yeah. snowball. <laughs> yeah, I love that so much. And that was kind of like a, it was like a first game. person shooter. I got it upstairs. Yeah, I, for, I totally forgot about that game. Holy 64 shit. was a shit. It's coming right for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's coming right for us. Number so, two. Number two. Dirt. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One. Woo! One. Or two. Like two. Both two. of them. It doesn't matter. They're, like, they're synonymous with each other. Two just made it a little bit better. I like the soundtrack. You know what I mean? Soundtracks were better. The soundtracks were. That's one of the main yeah. things. Did you ever get the uh, the uh, little demo disc shot of Pizza Hut? Oh yeah. It was, it was, yeah. It, oh yeah. I remember. It got, I got that before the game came out, and like it had like the one level it was the warehouse level, and it played mm-hmm. that one all or that one. Uh, uh, Gold, finger, gold, gold finger, finger song yeah oh, and it was like over and over and over yeah, it was, yeah. superman yeah superman yeah okay but it was like it, it just played that same song over and over and you played the one level over and over but i still played the shit yeah. out of that that like got me into ska hours really hours. that got yeah. me into ska a lot a lot of ska bands that i heard primus was on those soundtracks yeah. you know what i mean there's a bunch of like Jerry was good a punk rock but one. then they kept going through all their levels they kept on doing good music throughout the whole thing i was that's messed impressed. up is that Tony Hawk and basketball got me in the skull. Yeah. <laughs> Have you played the? Uh, did you play the remaster of them? They were remastered one and two for the new new. Yeah, yeah, Tony oh, yeah, Hawk. I, yeah. I have a man. For some it reason, I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't like collect skate in the, the second round and I just quit playing it but right. I have them both. Yeah. They're downloaded on there. Red Dead and Call of Duty. Yeah. I like killing <laughs> zombies. Duty. But yeah. All right. And, and your it, number one. Uh, my number one. Now it's going to be Mario Kart 64. Oh, oh uh, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, like it was, it was the first game thing. where you could like all your friends <laughs> that came over for your slumber party, everyone could play at one time. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then it's like up all night long till three in the morning. I have so many awesome that memories. Fucking of blue shell. Yeah, that dude. Fucking blue yeah, shell. Love <laughs> dropping them fucking banana peels, bro. That was the one. Yeah. Yeah. That was because like I I always liked the first Mario Kart on Super Nintendo, but like 64 is where they really went. Oh yeah. They went a little bit with the more. Rainbow Road. It's got to yeah, be yeah. 64. The Rainbow Road. It's yeah. got to be 64. The graphics and everything, yeah. and the way that you have all four controllers at once. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, have, any, I didn't have any wrestling on mine either because I'm a wrestling. I didn't like wrestling games until they evolved until. Even you didn't like Mike Tyson's Sold Out, out was cool. WCW. I guess that's not a wrestling <laughs> game. That's boxing. But yeah. Punch Out? Yeah, Punch Out was good. Yeah. But I was saying there were so many to choose from, dude. I had, They're so, in a range, many. Dude. I had so many to choose from. Did, did you have honorable mentions? Oh, honorable mentions. Major League. Uh... The movie? No, Major League. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Uh, like. <laughs> Major League Baseball. I forget what it was. It's for Nintendo. It was like the first. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was like little. Skate or die? Little, they look like little, I don't know, like little toy baseball players baseball baseball Man, yeah I, I remember uh, watching my cousin because he had the atari and i remember looking at the cases at atari's and going that game looks oh, yeah. awesome all of them man and and then you e. put them on and you're like what is this e.t that was yeah, another e. one that was horrible a good, a horrible yeah. man but yeah, yeah there's a until, lot of those until yeah nintendo stepped yeah. it up like the pinball has there in a space galaxy thing it's just like pinball <laughs> it's just like the e.t thing like i a, had an atari e. e. should have been way better than it was but yeah. well they rushed it yeah, and plus the graphics and everything Russians. were at the bar. They're always doing horrible things in Russia. There's a good the documentary Russians. about that, the ET, where they buried all the ET games mm-hmm. in the landfill mm-hmm. and shit. Well, Call of Duty would be another honorable mention. Streets of Rage. Which Call of Duty? Uh, uh, the first one. Ghost Protocol. The first one with uh, zombies. So what was that? Um, world at War. Yeah. yeah, World at War. Yeah, that that, that first one. Ah. The fifth one, I think. Yeah. And then every other zombie after that, like Dead Ops Arcade, even where there's the top view, that thing's a lot of fun. See, too. I've never done, I've never been able to get into the zombies, but I, I like I like playing multiplayer. So I'm right. I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I did I'm the storylines, but I still guy, it's so. another thing like uh, Mario Kart was. You know, you you can team up with people mm-hmm. and team up. I don't know. See, the only one like I did that. was Goldeneye, and I didn't advance from that. Yeah, I, I played to, that a lot too. That was that was a very fun game. Because I couldn't get into Call of Duty in the first person shooters at all. See, yeah. Goldeneye for me was the game where all my friends came over and, like, you know, yeah. you played four controllers and yeah, yeah, exactly. go yeah. into multiplayer and, like, mm-hmm. it was just yeah, so much so, fun. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was a blast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's it for mine. All right. All right. Uh, you guys ready for this? Yeah, I told you, there's so many games that I take off, like, all my wrestling games. Oh, I, t- I took I off know. a bunch, but I, I'll go through my, my honorable mentions first, like what you did. Yeah. Because I, I had a lot more and I even took those off. So, honorable mentions for my top video games of all time. Uh, let's see here. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah. Super Nintendo. The Turbo was the best. So that that was the first... I was like eight years old, and it was the first game that I Whoa, that I ever could... finished. First game I ever beat. I remember being... It was like three in the morning, and I was up sitting here and just trying to play it, you know, playing it through, and I finally beat it and got to the end screen and everything, and it was just like the most triumphant moment of my childhood. 
Like I was like, I beat this game. It's awesome. It's the first you, game I beat. You know that. So was, that's got a monument. You know that's, that's the one me. game too, where you, like it lets you get out rage. Because remember, like between the levels, they just have a car. You oh beat yeah, up. You just kick the shit yeah. out. Yeah. And you just beat oh, up yeah. a car. Punch barrels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, just get out some rage. And I love Street Fighter. Like I always, I liked Mortal Kombat, but Street Fighter. Yeah. To Mortal me, Kombat had thinking things in the middle. Like you know, you had to guess where the bean went or. Test your might. Test, test your, your might or yeah, test like your that, brain. Yeah. So I like Mortal Kombat, but I think Street Fighter was a better fighting game oh, at the yeah. time. I think at the, the newer time. nowadays Mortal Kombat's got that, you know. Mm-hmm. But until Tekken comes back, watch. Yeah, well, te- well, Tekken's probably what made I did love Tekken. Mortal Kombat Tekken. step up their game. I feel like because after yeah. Tekken came out, then Mortal Kombat became the best. Mm-hmm. Which I can't game. wait till that new movie comes out. The new Mortal Kombat. What? The Sub Zero one disappointed me, man. It was cool for just that story, but it wasn't a Mortal Kombat to me. It was a Sub Zero. Which one? The movie. The newest yeah. one? Yeah, the newest one. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, Mortal Kombat rules. It was all right. There was no... Yeah, there was no... Com- or there was no... Tournament though, and it, that's the only thing I didn't like. Yeah, yeah, that but was my thing too. It was, that that they're setting up for just, the there were fatalities. They're, yeah, they were setting up. For, yeah, they're, they're setting up for the tournament. Yeah, they're, you know. Okay, so uh, that's my first honorable mention. Oh God. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> GTA Five. Yeah. So I love I love a lot of the GTAs. San, yeah. San Andreas is yeah. probably it was my favorite until GTA Five. Yeah. But when Five came out, like that game is just incredible. It's just the story and everything, everything you could do in that world, and the fact it, that it's, it did change everything. The fact that we are eleven years later, still playing, and it. people are still playing that shit. Right. Like, crazy. Was it four consoles? I think it's on. Yeah, something like it's that. On four consoles it's come out like, like over Xbox, and over and over. PlayStation One or PlayStation Two, Three. Not two. Yeah, it came out three, Xbox four, three sixty, yeah. and three. I have San yeah. Andreas. So three, so four, I'm five. On Xbox One, Windows. Xbox Three Sixty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's another honorable mention. Uh, Doom. Yeah. On PC. PC. Yeah. That was like the first shooter game that I ever played. So yeah. I always call that the grandpappy of, of shooters, just like Wolfenstein. Daddy. Yeah. I mm-hmm. like Wolfenstein better. Wolfenstein was the original, like, and then they the just, remake. They remade those. They were awesome. But Wolfenstein. see, the, Wolfenstein was like it's the same company. It's id Software. Mm-hmm. But then they like they made their mechanics better and it became mm-hmm. Doom. Plus Doom, you go into hell and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All these demons better storyline. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I like killing Nazis. Though. It's fun. <laughs> and then yeah, so I liked about the zombies. Let's see like more Nazis. more honorable mentions. I got a bunch. I'm sorry. Uh, Mega Man X. For Mega Super Man. Nintendo. You mean Metroid Man? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Mega Man was the original Mega Mans were really fucking hard, so I could never play them when I was a kid. But yeah, yeah. Mega Man X was the first one that I could. It was on Super Nintendo, so the controls felt more felt better, and I could play it. You know, so I actually was able to play stuck that. with you more in that game. Yeah, I still play it. I still go back and play it. So, all right, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through the rest of these. Sim City. Sorry. Um, WWF No Mercy. Yeah, I do have a wrestling that's what I'm saying, game. Yeah, because that wrestling game. That's the game I was, was thinking fantastic. about. No, yeah, No Mercy. Sixty four. Sixty four. Yeah. That and Golden Eye. I remember playing. I'm thinking out no, no Mercy and Golden Eye on repeat back and my forth. My next. My uh, next. I don't want to mention Golden Eye. Double seven. Woo! Of course, we already talked about that. Um, Super Mario three. We talked about that one. That one's yeah. on my honorable mention because it's a fantastic Dude, what game. What's on your list now? Shit. That, that's what, that's the most nostalgic one. That's the one I got tattooed on me. Actually, it's yeah. three because it's so nostalgic yes, for me. It was. But. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 because mm. that was my favorite one. That's when I got really into competitive shooting. Uh, that was like 2009, 2010-ish. Um, the original Modern Warfare 2, not the newest one. Um, let's see. Another PC game, Command & Conquer Red Alert. So okay. that, that was an uh, RTS real-time strategy That's game. That's Warrior. Yeah, it's like kind of like... Ru- or, it was uh, in World War Two. Kind of like... Um, not Rush. Uh, what's that? Board game. Risk. Risk. Uh, kind like of. A, a not computer really. version of Risk. It's like a top-down so, thing. You control, my, your, you control your. I remember my stepmom playing stuff. some computer version of Risk, and it was kind of cool. Like I played it for a little bit. I can't remember what it was though. This this one's cool because like it's it was, it was set in World War Two, but it was an alternate timeline where uh, Einstein ended up working for, for Nazis for the. Uh, for Russia, Russia actually, Ooh. so Russia actually takes over or something. It's a okay. it's a crazy story. And so stuff. the Nazis did win, but that was the first game that had like that I remember having like live action cutscenes, and it was the coolest yes, thing ever because yes. this was like 1995. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So it was it was just really freaking cool. Yeah. My brother was really into it, so I got into it, and we still play it. Like I yeah. still have it on my computer. Nice. So uh, great game, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Um, and then my last honorable mention, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Did you never play Zelda because Breath of the Wild came out and it just completely. I don't know. It, it completely re redid what Zelda could have been, what it was, whatever. Fantastic game came out in 2017, and I have like 400 hours into that first one. Jeez. It's a crazy game, but fantastic. Anyways, now on to my top five. Ah, oh my god, those are my honorable mentions. Oh yeah, I, oh, I, I had a much bigger I list. Know, me too. I took off me a too. bunch. So that was, I. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't decide. But when you guys gave me a I had to ba- parameter, I had to bounce around because some of them are really important to like certain <laughs> getting me into certain things. Street Fighter got mm-hmm. me into fighting games. Red Alert got me into RTS. You know, like Modern Warfare Two got me into competitive stuff. It's like exactly. No Mercy was the first exactly. wrestling game I really yeah. got. 
But not now first. the wrestling w- games now are fucking amazing now. Some man. of them, crazy. they're hit or miss. The new one is good. Yeah, and the new is couple one is years amazing. there. Yeah, well, bad. that's different people. They were doing the THQ or whatever the fuck they were. They fucked yeah. it up. They dropped the ball. THQ is the one that did did no mercy. Not he's number yeah. five. Crash Bandicoot. All right, my top five. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Crash. But... Crash. All right, my number five. Uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. Okay, for the Game see, Boy, I original Game Pokemon, Boy. Yeah. So that obviously, I'm a huge yeah. Pokemon fan, and that was the first time I ever heard of Pokemon. I got it on Game Boy, and I remember playing. See, the we games. play Pokemon with cards. Our Pokemon with cards. I have all these cards right here. Yeah. yeah, but the cards didn't come out until four years after the game. So yeah. the game, I remember playing the game, and then the anime came out, and I was like, "This well, is a cartoon. It's as cool as fuck. You know, it's this video game thing, and it was well, actually good." I remember it was a uh, right when Star Wars came out, Phantom Menace. Yep, 99. I was in middle school. That's when the TCG and, came out. No, high school, I think, freshman. And uh, that's when I found out that Pokemon had cards because people started doing like Magic the Gathering with Star Wars cards. And then they were like, hey, there's this and Pokemon. I go, yep. what? Pokemon does that shit too? It was like, that, that was when they, when they first came like, out. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. remember when they got. I'm playing Hacky Sack trying to get laid. The cards were worth something all of a sudden. I think that's. Is that still fair? Yes. Yeah. Jake Paul wears it to the ring. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I had a... Okay. Crazy story here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Side note. <laughs> you talking about the Charizard? Yes, yes, yes. We had a first edition Charizard. Oh. All right. All right. Hold on. Uh-oh. So, here's the thing. <laughs> here's a clip. My friend. I had a friend. I'm not going to name him on the podcast. I already called bullshit. I'm not going to name him. All right. Well, his name's Joey. You know who he is. Okay, go on. You know who he Joey is. Joey Hickman. I'm not going to give his last name. But, <laughs> no, it's not Joey Hickman. But <laughs> Joey, this he was like my best friend when we were like 12. And uh, the, the the trading card game was starting to get big. Yeah, they yeah. used to do these meets down at Books a Million um, in the mall. Oh, and, yeah. and it would be like people get together, you play cards, and mm-hmm. you trade cards yeah. and stuff. Yeah, before Goblin so, Games and shit. Yeah, so me and Joey, we decided we're going to put our collections together and go down there and hustle like little kids. <laughs> I know it's terrible. And we did no, that. that's what you do. We hustled around. We traded cards, whatever. We, we ended up getting our hands on a first edition Charizard base set, which now is the one that Jake, that yeah, he wore to the ring. the ring. Yeah, yeah. It's it, millions of dollars. It's worth so much fucking yeah, money. Yeah, millions. Now. And we had one, and I don't think it was shadowless, so it may not be million million dollars because the yeah. shadowless ones I think are worth more. Yeah. But it was a first edition. He had it in a case, a gold case, yeah. so it wouldn't get but fucked up. Anyways, we had this card. We were like twelve, and uh, basically at the time it was worth like hundred fifty bucks, yeah, maybe, yeah. which was a lot to a twelve. Yeah. Year. Oh yeah. I was like, that thing's worth one hundred fifty bucks. Whatever. It was. It was the prize part of our collection together. Mm-hmm. And one day he sold it under, yeah, from under you for 60 bucks to the card you know, shop gave you without 30. letting me know and he said sorry I needed gas for my go-kart <laughs> and he oh, shit. and he offered me the 30, 30 bucks, bucks or whatever yeah, the yeah. Half of it. no 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 wait 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 no I'm sorry not 60 bucks we they offered 60 bucks or something he sold it for 25 he offered me 1250 is what, what? it was yeah, I had to think about that. I would for a get second. bent, dude. Would, yeah, dude. Oh, oh I'm so, so pissed. Mad. We didn't talk for like I bet. ten years. I after know. That. Yeah, <laughs> like, our friendship went down the shitter. I, I knew your we friendship. We joke about it now, but I, I knew that the friendship took a high edge. I didn't why. know why. That is why it was over a fucking Charizard Pokemon. That you go deep with that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, well, if we would had it now. Yeah, yeah fuck, true. Dude. Yeah, we'd be doing this podcast in some nice LA. Place. We'd be in LA yeah, right dude. now, dude. We'd, we'd have, have a whole doing production this company. Yeah, you know, yeah. you'd be like, whatever. I would have met better people than you guys. Yeah, sure. We wouldn't dwarf, be talking dwarf to you. Probably yeah, yeah. Thing. So thank, yeah. thanks, Joey, for selling that Charizard. <laughs> yeah, you made dwarf happen. Yeah, yeah. it's all yep. thanks, thanks to you. It's a crazy, yeah, it's a crazy thing. But anyway, so yeah, without you, there'd be no abortion. I mean, at the time, I knew it was worth like hundred, a couple hundred bucks, but I didn't. I never would have guessed it'd be worth as much as it is now. You yeah. know what I mean? But that's hilarious. even then, though, we knew it was worth something, so we were going to keep a hold of it. And he sold it out from under me. I'm still holding on to that Kevin McHale rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was number five. Yeah. <laughs> number four, Super Metroid. Yeah, Metroid. Super Nintendo. Super Metroid. Not Metroid, Metroid Man. Man. Metroid. But Super Metroid. Oh. Super Metroid. Super Metroid. It man. wouldn't be Metroid Man because Samus is a woman. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah. No, it's 2024, bro. <laughs> that was the first game like I remember playing. Because I played the first Metroid on NES. And I don't think I ever beat it because it was just so fucking big and there yeah. was no map or anything. Super Metroid was the first, like, I remember playing it and being like, oh, this is really cool. And it was just such a cool, like, concept. The Metroidvania, it's like Castlevania yeah. kind of stuff, too. You know, you have to, the whole map is open to you, but you have to get certain items to get to certain areas. It was just a really cool game design. And I love that game. And it's so, the atmosphere, the music, and the I, way it and, sets stuff up, and, the environmental storytelling fantastic and I think the artwork was H.H. Geiger wasn't it it looks like it yeah. <laughs> every time I but play that game I go it's H.H. Geiger it's really freaking cool though it's but cool. like it just I don't know the atmosphere that they set up in that game is just creepy yeah. and amazing I just love it um, I need to go back and play it again actually but anyways uh, number three The Last of Us 
Oh yeah, PS3. See, I couldn't get, fuck them clickers. That's what I can say. <laughs> I'm not yeah. smart enough to get past the clickers. It's really yeah, silly. Fuck this game. The Last of Us. That. See, The Last of Us was the first game that I played that was like. It was like, man, video games could be like movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, then they made it up. Yeah, well, they made a TV show. Well, TV series. But, yeah, it's fantastic, though. Series it's, is good, though. Series is good. Game's better. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. say See, it. I didn't play the game. Game so. was better. <laughs> but the game, like, something about it is just like, it got me so immersed Obsessed, into it. It's yeah. insane. Obsession. Then The Last of Us 2 came out, and The Last of Us 2 was like the most emotional roller coaster I've ever played. Yeah. And I, I, like, I had to. I had to decompress for like two weeks after playing The Last of Us 2. It was crazy. That's why I was with Resident the, Evil. Yeah. It's seriously, I decompressed. But the fact, the fact they can do that with just storytelling. Yeah. Like, it's not because of just how creepy it is. It's just like the way the story goes and the character you writing and stuff. It's so fucking yeah. amazing. Anybody that's not played The Last of Us, go play The Last of Us. Like, it's that was your village, man. That's Especially if you village. like the show. If you like the show and you've not played the game, play the game because it's like, it's it's mind blowing. My ass is hurting. They keep re- I mean, you're mastering it so you can get it on new consoles. Anyways, that was my number three. <laughs> number two. Super Mario World. Yeah! Super Nintendo. Yes. There you go. So Mario 3 was the most nostalgic probably, but yeah. Mario World is the one first, I keep going back to. The first one on the What's your list? favorite Yoshi? Yeah. What's your favorite Yoshi? Blue Yoshi. That's of right. That's you right. Gotta be that's, why we're, that's, yeah. that's why we're in a band together. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought it was because you he guys needed like the to money. Trade sex, you know. Oh, well, that too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Mario World. I, I I go back every few months and beat that game. I just I play know. through it. Just it's so much. It's such a good game. Complete the like, star the star map. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so fucking good. I Those love levels it. are so hard. Fuck that awesome. thing. Well, the levels after the star yeah, map. I'm saying, the middle yeah. one, yeah, like the like tubular and all those different ones. There's eight of them, ain't there? Something, yeah, eight levels. Eight. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Fuck all of them. Fantastic so hard. game. Might be the best game of all time, but on my list, it's number two. Yep. Because number one is Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Oh, see, I knew he put Zelda number one. I knew it. Yeah. So, A Link to the Past, <laughs> that's another. I put I put most of these games because they were like, they were important to me, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and the, the, but see, I couldn't get into Zelda. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I just couldn't. Missing out, man. Yeah. But. A Link to the Past, I remember playing... I loved RPG... Because that was like an old-style RPG kind of was like that, too. It's not really an RPG, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, like the, action the, RPG. The top view. Yeah. Because you would just run, all of a sudden the screen would go... Whoosh, yeah. Well, then, no. No, I'm talking about RPG games. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I didn't like old RPG games, mm-hmm. except for Final Fantasy until VII. It went, until it went, like, 3D. Yeah, until, yeah. Like, Did you ever play Chrono Trigger? No, I don't think so. You should play Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. It's like RPG... 3D. Well, no, it's top down. Top but, down, but it's all based in like time travel and stuff. Okay, because I remember I'm watching my cousin. He played all those RPG Zelda and all that, and I just, I just couldn't get into Zelda's it. Zelda's not RPG though. Yeah. You guys well, no, I'm, saying, I'm talking about that kind you of view. You guys play the back yeah, like to the top future down game? game? Yeah. Which that, one? The, the, the Telltale game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. It's basically Back to the Future Four. Yeah. Okay. You, you have never played play that? that? Oh, you man. have to go back to like the 1930s and like Doc Brown is a, is like an 18 year old kid. Oh wait. And like his dad wants him to be a lawyer yeah. but he wants to be a scientist yeah. and you have to convince him to be a scientist. Yes, I played that. Yeah. And like yeah. Biff Tannen's ancestor is running like a speakeasy. It's mm-hmm. it's really fucking good. Yeah. It's written by Bob Gale. So it's, it's um. There was another game like that too. It reminded me of it around that time. There was a bunch of those Telltale yes, games. Yeah. yeah. Like Leisure Suit Larry and all that shit like that. <laughs> You keep bringing up that game. I love Leisure Suit Larry. You ever played it? You played yeah. quarters and oh, shit yeah. and you know, weird stuff but, like that. But, but anyway, so yeah, so <laughs> so Link to the Past was like the first game that I played that was like a it was open world. Yeah. I had never played an open world game before. You know, like okay. I said, I beat Street Fighter and I was playing these other games. This, I actually played this before I played some Super Metroid, so I didn't know how that was. But Link to the Past was like the world's open up. You can go pretty much wherever until you get to a block, obviously. But it was just like it's such a huge game at the time that it just felt it felt like I was never going to complete... I was never going to make yeah. the whole map. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Compared to games nowadays, it's not. But when you're 10 years old, that oh, game yeah. just seems so huge. Like, I remember and, having... And you never wanted it to end either. Yeah. Like, that yeah, was the thing. Yeah. I remember... Like, when I mean, it does sad when it's I remember over. having, yeah. like, pieces of paper, like... Uh, like Yeah. Didn't have a map. side so a piece of paper where I would draw, draw the map of, like, mm-hmm. where I wanted to go and, like, how, where I've been and everything. There was a map in the game, but, like... I, I just I liked having it in front of me so I was yeah. sitting there playing and looking at the map and stuff God. and it was just like it was the biggest adventure of my childhood you know what I mean like, that reminds so, me of the Mortal Kombat 2 the fatalities where you're looking to your fatalities oh, yeah. all written down <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put in 14 I buttons wish, I wish somebody would have taken you camping Huh? I went, I went camping all the time when I was a kid. I think this was the biggest adventure you. I had. Oh, no, no, no. Camping was no nothing compared to Link, Link to the Past. Yeah, Are you yeah. kidding me? Have you ever played that game? Yeah, no, he, he that's what wants, we just said. We would never, yeah. never He just wants to molest you by the campfire. But at the time, yeah. it was like... It was, up, was on your boat. It's surprising that I just... <laughs> nope. now, it's surprising that I just got it's into D&D camping. like in the last couple of years because I love that stuff so much. But like... Link to the that's why I love Breath of the Wild so much is because it's like it's like what the original Zelda was on NES, you know, yeah, and Link to the Past and all those games. Yeah, yeah. But 
in a modern setting, you know, it's like so you can explore everywhere and it's just like spend hours doing whatever. But Link to the Past was the first game like that for me, and to this day, I go back about once a year and I play through it, and it's still fantastic. So do you still, still holds up. So do you get upset when people call Link Zelda? No, because okay. everybody does yeah, it. I know everybody does yeah, it. So everybody I mean, does it. Hey, it's the Zelda guy. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I mean, he is the Zelda guy. Yeah, his yeah. Name is, but they call him Zelda. 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 Yeah. His name his is Link. Name is Link. Like, excuse Saucy me. Link princess. And what is Zelda? Zelda is the princess. princess. Is the princess. That's what, yeah. I, that's what I thought. Come but on, Kibbles. <laughs> well, I didn't play the game. But the whole thing you the, know an awful lot about it for never playing it, Jesse. I watched my cousin play it, beat it. I watched him beat it. I just couldn't get into it. You watched you watched your cousin beat it? Yeah. Yeah. See, over I, who and molested over who? And over again. But the, the cool thing about Zelda games is like all the different games are set in different timelines. And so it's like there's time travel involved and there's like descendants of descendants that are like the chosen one and you know this timeline or whatever but there's a split in the timeline somewhere too and like these games mm. are on this timeline and these are on this one where this happened because they did a thing where like basically the first game or no one of the games it splits like and it's like if if in canon if link would have defeated ganon here it would go into these games oh, but if you lose, lose it goes yeah. into these games so it's a really okay. cool timeline like cool. it's really confusing Hmm. But it's cool, just like maybe, the, all the different maybe games. Maybe that's why we're not smart enough to play Zelda. <laughs> I think so. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. Mike, and, and that's what I'm saying. He did all the RPGs and Zelda, not RPG. Yeah. I say he he always told me that he was smarter than me all the time. So he's like, I couldn't play those games. Uh, <laughs> no, they're, just, they're just fun games. Like I said, they're just good like, adventure I'm games. I'm smarter than you, and I watch him beat it. Yeah. <laughs> beat it. So yeah, that's my beat top. That's my, that's my top five. So right, I had, so I had so what I have. I had Pokemon Red and Blue, yeah. Super Metroid. The Last of Us, Super Mario World, and A Link to the Past. So our dwarf list would be Super Mario World. Super Mario World, number yeah, one. for sure. Super Mario 3, who's both on honorable yeah, Super Mario 3, Goldeneye. 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 Goldeneye, number three. San Andreas. I think GTA 5, probably. G- GTA. Because like, I would have went San Andreas you or GTA 5. You both honorable mentioned it. Yeah. San Andreas was great, but GTA yeah, 5 it took everything it did. Because change- there's so many consoles that it's on. Yeah, it changed know? the game. Yeah, so GTA 5. And the fifth one would be... I don't, one. I don't know, guys. Don't we know. had a, we all, everything else was different. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's throw one in there and just say, uh, what? Street Fighter. Street Fighter. There you like go. That. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Yeah. Turbo. We, we Turbo. Turbo was the Turbo best. Was the best. <laughs> I love beating the shit out of the cars. I was <laughs> always Ryu. When you could do the code that puts always. in like you get a t- ten stars turbo speed. Yeah. So Ryu like, it just makes everything Kyle. crazy. And your Chun Li trying to see underneath her dress all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, all she had to do was freak. <laughs> do a flip. You and cartoon sex, man. There's Hell something yeah. wrong with you. That's, that's Rule thirty four. That's all we had. We didn't, we didn't have a, I didn't have porno the edge of my hands. You know, you had to have stupid you well, know, cartoons. I, ne- I never thought I'd find the benefit of being like molested. Rogue. <laughs> we had more. Did you watch X Men ninety seven? Not yet. It's on my list. It's I heard it's awesome. Fantastic. I heard it's awesome. It is so good. Yeah. What is it? Awesome. I watched it last night. It's the new X Men. X Men ninety seven. It picks it's, up where it left off. In it's a 97. sequel to the to the animated series. Yeah, where it left off. And it's all hand drawn, just like the original series and stuff. And it picks up literally right at the end yeah. of the other series. Yep. It is so good. They've I only they've X-Men. dropped two episodes so far. It's on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. They're going to do one episode every Wednesday. I think it's on my list. I, watched, well, I, I might wait until it all goes out so I can binge it. I watched both of them last night. Cause I like I like to theorize in between because there's some crazy shit happening. Oh, they're, yeah. they're taking some stories. And, oh, yeah. really? It's good. Oh, yeah, because it's the wokeness. <laughs> the X-Men are no, the, woke. There's a big yeah, thing that's what X stands they're, for. They're is for mutants. woke, right? Everybody complaining about X-Men yeah. being woke is fucking stupid. That's what it stands for. <laughs> X stands for wokeness. <laughs> They've been the most progressive fucking comics that's of all time. Like, it's X-Men. literally the point of X-Men. If you don't, yes. if you think it's become woke and you don't like it because of it, you don't know yeah. X-Men. Yeah. It's or, always been that way. Or if you say you don't like Quentin Tarantino movies because they're too long. Just look dumb. at Nightcrawler. <laughs> Nightcrawler could be gender fluid if he wanted to be. He does. He transitions a lot. Morph is gender fluid. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nightcrawler. He just but, a, he, he transitions. Just, yeah, he, he just transitions, transitions from here to there. Yeah. From here to there. He's a fast transition. <laughs> He's like, poof, look at me. <laughs> he drinks a lot of soy milk. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're out of time here. Uh, we went we went way over than what we usually oh, yeah, do. Oh yeah, we did. But oh, shit. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, like the video. You know, put put a like on there. Subscribe to the channel. We'd be we'd be very very appreciative. Smash that like button yeah, and if subscribe. You it, if you made it this far, you can handle our bullshit. So please do that because it helps us out a bunch. And shopouthouse.com. Go to shopouthouse.com. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. Later. Peace. You draw trouble like an outhouse draws flies. It didn't stink that bad. 40 yards to the outhouse. Both brothers be having them out.